Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get your discs to spin down whenever they enter a standby mode in TrueNAS. Why would you want to do this? Well, basically anytime your discs are spinning, they're consuming electricity. And if you're not actively reading from or writing to those discs, i.e. they're in a standby mode, well, that's uh, money that you could be saving and spending somewhere else. The counter argument to this tends to be that there's no real need to spin down the discs and that you would spin them up again so frequently that uh, any savings in electricity is offset by the wear and tear on the drives. But personally, I think that there are situations where it makes sense to spin down the drives and there are other situations where it makes sense not to spin down the drives. For example, I've got one pool and I access it daily every couple of hours, so spinning down the discs in that pool doesn't really make sense. But I've got another pool and I only ever access it every maybe once or twice a week, which means that spinning them down um, saves me a lot more money in electricity than it does uh, cost me in the wear and tear of the drives themselves. So how do we get the drives to spin down? Well, in this example, I'm gonna get the disks in the vault pool to spin down after 20 minutes. So the very first thing we need to do is check which pool our system data set is being written to and read from. What is the system data set? System data set is basically some information about the TrueNAS system that TrueNAS needs to run. So it contains things like our uh, reports, it contains encryption keys and some details on SMB shares, etc, etc. It's constantly being read from and written to. And if that's the case, well, those drives in that pool can never be spun down because they're actively in use 24-7. How do I check which pool the system data set is using? Well, if we hit the system button on the left hand side, and then there's an option number six on the left hand side in that menu, system data set. And then we can see here that indeed the system data set is being written to our vault pool. That's not what I want because I want those disks to spin down and they will never do that if they're constantly being written to. So in the drop down menu, I'm actually going to choose our boot pool. Um, those are SSDs in the boot pool. I know that they can take the system data set and I'm not worried about them spinning down. So we're just going to hit the save option here. TrueNAS will warn me that the SMB service is going to have to restart. I'm fine with that, so I'm going to hit continue. And it's just going to think about it for a minute or two before it um, starts back up again. So now TrueNAS is using the boot pool for the system data set. What do I need to do to get the drives to spin down? Well, if we uh, go on the left hand side to the storage tab, we can choose the disks option, which is fourth on the, the menu down. And then we can see we've got a list of all of the disks in our system here and the pool that they're available in. So we can see this first one, for example, is in the vault pool, which is the pool that I'd like to get the disks to spin down in. So if I hit this little arrow button on the right hand side, I get a couple of options here and then I can just hit edit. So I've already set these drives to spin down after 20 minutes. You can see here in the HDD standby option, I've selected 20 minutes instead of the default always on option. There's an option here to force the hard disk drive into standby mode, and that's normally uh, to force it into standby mode if it's running uh, software checks like a scrub or doing a snapshot, and I don't recommend that you choose that option. Then under the advanced power level management, I've selected level one minimum power usage with standby spin down, causing the disks to spin down whenever they go um, into a, a standby mode. Uh, there's another option here for an acoustic level. I've set that to disabled. This really doesn't have a lot of bearing on whether or not your drives will go into standby mode and a lot of modern drives don't respect those uh, settings anyway. So I, I am not concerned about leaving that option as disabled. And then there are a couple of other options here that we're not going to go into now, but it's this HDD standby and the advanced power management. Those are the two settings that we're interested in. So just gonna save those options. And then what we would do is go through all of the drives in the pool itself and repeat the same option. So if I pick this other drive, ADA 11 in the, the pool, and hit edit, you can see that I've also set that to 20 minutes with the advanced power management set to one. So now that we've told the drives to enter a standby mode after 20 minutes, how do we validate that it's actually doing that? Well, unfortunately, there's no easy way in the GUI, but we are able to run a command line that will tell us whether or not the drives are spinning. So I'm just gonna go back here to my disks interface, and I'm gonna take a note of what the name of the drives are that I'm interested in. So in this case, I'm interested in ADA1, that's the drive in my vault pool that I wanna spin down. But we're also just gonna take note of the fact that ADA0 is in the FreeNAS boot pool and we would expect that drive to constantly be spinning. So then I'm just going to hit the shell option here on the left hand side and I've got a command that I'm going to paste into the TrueNAS shell interface using shift insert because I'm on a Windows machine and I will include this command in the description of the video below. So the important bit of this command we can see it's cam control cmd and then we've got the name of the drive that we're interested in ada1 or ada0 so very 
very first one, I'm going to check a drive that should be spinning ADA0. I'm going to hit enter. And then we get very interesting results. We can see here that we get some binary as a result. And in the second last option, the 10th column from the left and the second last, we can see that the results are FF, which indicates to me that the drive is spinning right now. And that's exactly what we'd expect from our boot pool. If I go back and I run the same command again, but with ADA1, which is the disk in our vault pool we wanted to spin down, I can see that I get similar results, but I get 0, 0 in the second last column. In the 10th column from the left and the second last column, we get 0, 0, indicating that the drives are spun down and they're correctly in standby mode. So that's it, guys. That's how you get your disks to spin down whenever they enter a standby mode, and that's how you validate that they have indeed spun down. So at this stage, I'm going to ask you again to do the YouTube dance, which is to like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. It really helps the channel out and helps tell the algorithm to push it out to other users. Otherwise, I will catch you guys on the flip side.